When she was born, my aunties and uncles always used to carry her around. Those were really lovely days. Right from the start, her ambition was to be a doctor. Her main aim was that our family wouldn't have to suffer anymore. She has brought an awakening to society. Society cannot any longer turn a blind eye to these sorts of incidences, which are happening every day. We have to change ourselves. If there is no change, then these horrible things won't stop. The public has to wake up now. Change can only happen if everyone works together towards this goal. Everyone has to do their bit. Men do try and dominate women. This should not happen. They should remember they also have mothers and sisters. When they harass a woman, they should remember she could also be their relative. I just want to say that although my daughter is gone, she left behind a message. You should stand up for yourself. Don't suffer injustice. Don't lose. You must win, even if you have to die for it. My name is Trisha Savelli, and I am rising because I can. My name is Liliana, and I am rising because the violence needs to stop. My name is Christina Mulder, and I'm rising because others don't have the opportunity. Hi, my name is Taylor Gaida, and I'm rising because there are women out there who can't. My name is Hannah Thom, and I am rising because all of the women that I deeply love in my life have been negatively affected by domestic or sexual assault. My name is Vanessa Torres, and I'm rising because there is too much violence in the Latino community, and I want to end violence. My name is Eileen Lindley, and I am rising because I have the right to feel comfortable in my body. My name is Viviana Garcia, and I am rising for the women who lost their voice. My name is Sonia Perez. I am rising because the people that I love that are women um, experience unwanted sex. I am rising because I was a sexually molested toddler. My name is Ali Runke. The most important thing I've learned from being a part of the V-Day process is that we have a very strong voice that needs to be heard. My name is Emily Klingenberger and I am rising because there are people that won't and that this is the right thing to do. The most important thing I've learned from being a part of the V-Day process is that women shouldn't be ashamed of being women and of being themselves and of being sexual and alive and um, one with their bodies. The most important thing I've learned from being a part of the V-Day process is to love myself. There are so many different women with different stories and I feel honored to be able to tell their stories. We need to stand in solidarity with other women. The most important thing I've learned from being a part of the V-Day process is to just be comfortable in my own skin. It's hard to pinpoint an exact lesson, but I've learned that female solidarity is beautiful and it comes in all shapes, sizes, colors, etc., etc. Everybody's different and it's important to accept everybody and also it's important to just make vaginas part of daily conversation. And that being patient with yourself is most important and most important to start in order to be patient with other people. Working with women to fight against violence against women is important to me. The most important thing I've learned from being a part of V-Day, of the V-Day process is to be comfortable in my own skin and be aware of others and their struggles. V-Day belongs at Catholic campuses like St. Mary's because we are Lasallian and social justice based. Being Catholic campus doesn't mean that violence doesn't happen here. It can happen anywhere. So regardless of what your religion is, there's stories that everyone should hear. I look up to St. John Baptist de La Salle because to me he was the original bad boy in that he did so much for marginalized people and I think he'd be really proud of us today if he came to Vagina Monologues because we're taking a stand and actively attempting to end violence against women. Even though we have come far, we're still so much more to go. Fide belongs at a Catholic campus because Catholics have vaginas too. There are women here and there's violence here and it doesn't matter if it's a Catholic campus or if it's a regular campus or if it's um, somewhere else that these things exist and that they shouldn't be shoved under the carpet, they should be brought out in the open and that we should be doing something about it. 
the dancing and drumming that reverberated in central Delhi last night were meant to highlight a sobering United Nations assessment that one in three women in the world, or roughly one billion, suffers some sort of violence at the hands of men in the course of her lifetime. Urging people to join the One Billion Rising campaign, Indian musician Anushka Shankar, daughter of the late sitar virtuoso Ravi Shankar, revealed in a video this week that she had been the victim of sexual violence. As a child, I suffered sexual and emotional abuse for several years at the hands of a man my parents trusted implicitly. And as a woman, I find I'm frequently living in fear, afraid to walk alone at night. And, you know, enough is enough. So join me. Let's rise. Let's dance. 